So yeah, for me personally, best church by far at the moment I've seen, the most interesting. This. here that are not open. Yeah they're locked back out into the garden here. smell it this way. <laughs> Oops, sorry. There we go. Getting the obligatory photo there. So, uh, which way is it? In here? Yeah, it's in here. <laughs> this is the chocolate factory. <sighs> it's a little bit dark in here actually. Showing you all the cocoa beans. Oh, yeah. it smells delicious in here actually. Now I really don't know what to go for folks, and they also do fudge here as well, <laughs> cream and butter fudge, <laughs> oh dear, anyways look, there we go, that's where the magic is made, so, are you that? okay, um, can I get a milk chocolate, chocolate please, <laughs> can I get 100 grams of the vanilla flavoured fudge, and also 100 grams of the maple nut as well, please. Yeah. You take card payment, by the way. It's um, cash only. Oh, really? Sorry. And is, it, is there an ATM on the actual? Yeah. Um, there is done in the post office. In the post office, right. right. Cheers, yeah. thanks a lot. Okay, so it's just cash only here, so I need to go and get some um, cash. Thank you very much. Yes, so there's a little tip for you. I'll have to go all the way back to the post office to get money Shit. well instead of heading back to the post office now to get some cash we may as well continue to do the lighthouse walk and the coastal walk here so um we're kind of on the way you know what i mean it's, it doesn't make sense to go back on ourselves so um they do sell the chocolate in the shop back down in the village so i can get that there i just won't be able to get the fudge there so let's see what we like for time and how energetic i feel to see if I want to come back up here for the fudge, but it looks delicious, mate. It looks delicious, folks. That's the thing. Anyway, let's head on to the south part of the island. So when you get to this big white house here, you can go straight up, and I can see the lighthouse in the distance there, or you can actually take a left here, and it's a, a little hike around the coast. So I'm going to do that. It's a little, looks a little more scenic, folks. So let's go and do that, shall we? Because the other one, like I say, it's just a straight road up. Not much to see. I think this is going to be a bit more interesting. Got beautiful views of the coastline there. There's the Gower Peninsula coming all the way along the coast there, the south coast, heading west. Behind them trees, you'll have Tembe, where we've just been. And we're just coming up to the lighthouse here now. So getting a little peckish now, folks. So I think what we're gonna do is find a nice little spot to sit down in the shade, preferably, have a little bit of food and then see what we've ticked off this list, shall we? Let's see what we've got left to do. Here we go, folks, the lighthouse. The lighthouse. So we're on the, near the most southern point of the island, which will be those cliffs beyond yonder. Caldy Lighthouse. Anyway, there's some benches and stuff here. I could do with a bit of shade. I could do with a little bit of shade, folks. So, we continue along the uh, path a little bit. 
beyond the folk. So to speak. Let's go. There's the back of the house. Huge garden. <laughs> Beautiful. Are these guys enjoying the view here. So I just figured out why them people are stood on the edge of the cliff. It's because this is the place for you to spot seals. It's one of the best places for you to spot seals. And there's a little rib boat down there. That will probably be a seal spotting boat trip. So they're on the lookout. So it's always good to look out for where they're stopped because they're potentially you might see one. I see something down there, but I don't know if it's the end, the edge. No, they are. Seals down there. They are. There's three heads down here. One, two, three. So as you're walking along the coast here, um, just to the right, is St. Isted's Church, where we've just been. There you go, and Tenby beyond that. Beautiful views, beautiful views. And there's the lighthouse where we've just walked up to, and then we just walk back down this way. Heading along the cliff walk. It's a nice viewpoint coming up here. Could be the opportunity to see a seal. I see some woman rushing to get something out of her bag. Potentially her camera. Yes, it is. So they've seen something. <laughs> that rock that was seen. So there's one just... See the rock? Rock. There's a little rock out stuck out there. There's one swimming around that down there. Well, there's two, I think. I can see two heads. Look at the colour of the ocean now. Look at the colour. Beautiful. <laughs> there's a little rock just sticking out of the water just down there. And there's a seal basically sunbathing on there. Literally just on its side. Tail up in the air. Head pointing towards the sun, loving life. He is the seal of the day. Anyway, folks, let's continue, eh? Another one off the chick list. We're gonna head that way in a minute, but um, what I'm looking over there at is Tembi again. And then beyond there, I can see Monkstone Beach uh, it's just there, it's very nice to see it from this angle. It's just a personal thing. But what a beautiful view, man. Absolutely stunning. Really is, though. St. Ishtid's church there, and you've got the, the um, chocolate factory there. Just come off the path for a sec. Not for a nice little bay, eh? Little fishing boat down here. But that water is crystal clear, absolutely crystal clear. So after walking for quite a while, we found our first little bit of what could be potentially shade. <laughs> it's been shadeless. It's very barren as you can see, look. But we're coming across some old, I don't know what this is. It's been an old kind of building or something. Can I get in there for a bit of shade? Yeah, there's a little bit of shade on the end here, look. You're around the edge. Round the outside, round the outside. That will do. I'm gonna take this opportunity. It's not very uh, pleasing to the eye, you know, but that is. Anyway, all I'm doing is eating. I need something to eat and drink. So I'm gonna get some shade here, folks. Whew. So we've stopped for some lunch. Let's have a look at our list and see what we've done and what we haven't. The Abbey, check. St. David's Church, check. St. Isted's Church, check. Chocolate Factory, check. Perfume Shop, no. We must have walked past it though because it's in the town. Gift Shop, check. Post Office, check. Tea Garden, check. Village Walk, check. Woodland Walk, check. Lighthouse, check. West Cliffs Walk, currently doing. Uh, Priory Beach, check. Island Wildlife, check. We've seen uh, seals and we've also seen red squirrels we haven't seen we've seen various birds but I don't know what they were there is also another little list on the back here very similar um, 
which we have all pretty much checked. So once this walk's done, let's find the perfume shop because we need to witness that, obviously. And then maybe go to the tea garden, get a nice cup of tea and a slice of cake if there's anything on offer. But um, anyway, we've done pretty well, folks. Doing really well for time. So we're going to continue beyond yonder. So another nice viewpoint of Redberry Bay. See a couple of seals. The water's better. It's better angle for the the uh, the sunshine for me here right now. I can see one, two, three, four seals swimming around down there in a little group. So the views are opening up here now. There's another island there. I think that's called Saint Margaret's Island. It's very. It almost looks like at low tide you could walk over to it from this island. And directly in front of us, right there, you have Lidstep, Lidstep Beach. And that heads over towards Menorbier and towards the west. You can see the cliffs, the dramatic cliffs in the distance. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So yeah, we can still see Tembi, still within our eyesight. Beautiful secluded little bit there. There's a nice little sailing boat there. It's very chill secluded from the waves. We've picked a great day for it again, folks. We've picked a great day. Tendi. Absolutely perfecto. I see a small little pathway. Potential scrapes on the leg to get here, but let's have a look. Oh yes. Oh, I think it, that little wrong turn is worth it, don't you? Look at that, man. No access to this beach. No public access. That's not to say people don't go down there, though, because to me it looks like there's a swing on a little stick down there. Anyway, that's none of my business. Look at that. Look at that. That was bloody lovely, that was. The West Cliff Walk, or the West Cliff Trail. Beyond the trees there, you can see Priory Beach. First beach that we uh, saw when we arrived. And there you have the Abbey, poking its little head out of the trees. I was just thinking it must be crazy living here. A grand old population of 40 people, roughly, and 10 monks on average. Not a bad view for a couple of cows to have. Chocolate factory next door. Bloody hell. They haven't got it bad, have they? Hey? So when I said there was a chocolate factory on the island, did you expect it to look like this? Is that the kind of factory you were thinking of? Or are you thinking more along the lines of Willy Wonka? Or are you thinking more along the lines of a big Cadbury's big, huge, ugly factory? No, we have this. Um, I found four pounds in my bag, which is brilliant. <laughs> so, can I get some maple nut and can I get some vanilla? Four pounds worth, like half of each, please. They come per block. Okay, how much are they per block? Um, roughly £2.50, but they can be more or less. Okay, so I can just get... Can I not get £1.50 worth of another now? Yeah, you don't cut them, they just come as they are? Yeah, they come. Ah, them. right, okay. Okay, get me, I'll have the maple nut, please. Yep. One, two... Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Nice one. Lovely, Thank cheers. You. See you later. That's nice. Very sweet, but very nice. Mm. Well, <clears throat> I've had to put that fudge away. It's far too Moorish. Anyways, let's head back down to the village. I think I might have found us some more wildlife if I can get to them. Let's have a look. Yes, here we go. We have some black swans. Hello little fellas, three of them, two there, one there, kind of like mud flats-ish, 
Die haben wir einfach dry. Ich würde uns auch ein Stück davon nehmen. Ich würde uns auch ein Stück davon nehmen. 15 minutes until it opens, they're on their lunch break, so let's go and see if the tea shop actually accepts card, shall we? If they do, we shall go there. But first, let's go and tick the perfume shop off the list. I'm guessing it's part of the shop, because I didn't see anything separate. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so the perfume shop is in the post office, randomly. So we have to wait another 10 minutes for that to open. So while we're doing that, I'm going to see what's in the little cafe here. Let's we'll sit down here in the shade, shall we? So, what goes on first? The cream or the jam? Are you a cream first person or jam person first? You tell me. Oh, that was a bloody lovely scone and jam and cream. Anyways, let's head over to the perfume shop. Not that I need any perfume, but let's head on over so we can tick it off the list. So the post office is a post office and a museum and the perfume shop. And there's one other thing we haven't done yet as well. It's called the video hall. And uh, apparently it's a short video in the day of a life of one of the monks here of what they do for work and play. So we should go and see that as well. But anyways, let's go and see if we can find this perfume shop within the post office and the museum. Literally that is the perfume shop. Well, I had a little smell. <clears throat> Not to my tasting, and uh, the guy didn't like me filming in there either, actually he told me to stop filming, so I think I touched a nerve there. But anyways, let's head back to the shop here and see if we can get some chocolate, shall we? Oh, there we go. Some chocolate and a fridge magnet for my mum, because you had to spend over £5 if you wanted to pay by card. <laughs> so quite often I'll get my mum a fridge magnet from wherever I go, so it's not money wasted. Anyways, folks, that's kind of it, really. Ah, yes, before we leave, we need to head to the old video hall. I forgot about that. And I just wanted to walk past the post office again, just in case I missed a sign that says no filming inside. And there was no sign to say no filming inside. So I wasn't doing anything wrong, just to let you know. I just don't think he liked me filming for some reason. Even though I was just trying to show the nice side to his beautiful little post office and museum and perfume shop anyways the old video hall has just appeared we shall enter watch the little video and then depart shall we here we go apparently it's 12 to 14 minutes in duration so let's go in let's go in There we go, folks. There we go. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, um, what I can tell you is a monk's day starts at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> and they have seven kind of um, rituals that they go through every single day at different times of the day. And they just have normal chores like us throughout the day looking after this place. They'll be living in there right now. The guys I've just seen on the screen, I guess. Living a very simple life, but very peaceful and very spiritual by the sounds of it. Anyways, beach time. So we just come off the little beaten path again, folks. There's a little right turn just down there. And I think it's going to head us on to Priory Beach, just a little bit further down the path. So let's go over these sand dunes, and my guess is gonna drop us down onto that lovely beach. I'll let her firstly take these bloody shoes off. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 
Am I right? Am I right? Oh, hi. Look at that man. So that's where the boats drop you off. You can see a boat coming over there now. Unbelievable man. So it's £15 return to come here. £15 return, which I think is well worth it to be honest with you. Given when you go over to Tembe, the beach is packed. That'll be packed today. You can see it over there. Anyways, look how kind of empty it is here. <laughs> I mean, you pay for what you get, as they say in life, eh? But I would definitely recommend if you're coming over to Tembe or Pembrokeshire in general, get your ass over to Caldy Island, man. Check it out. It's unbelievable. Crystal clear, crystal clear. So we just come to the edge of this, these cliffs, so to speak. And it looks like you can walk up a little bit of the sand dune here. It looks like you can get to a little point there. It's like being on a running machine. I'm not getting anywhere. Your foot goes in and it just slides straight down. Anyway, we've just got a little bit to go. Let's see if we can get up. Uh, look at this. <laughs> this is good exercise for the legs, people. Oh, now there we go. That's as far as we can get. Whew. Not a bad little view, though. Well, there we have it, folks. There we have it. Coldy Island. How beautiful was that, eh? Very, very nice. And it's got a bit of everything, really. It's got these beautiful beaches. Well, this beach in particular that you can come down and chill on. I mean, look at it, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Loads of room for everyone. It's got some history. It's got some nice hiking. It's got some good wildlife. Some amazing coastline to be seen. Some nice inland, um, you know, views. So it's really got a bit of everything for a very small little island. I would highly recommend coming here if you're in the South Wales, well, the Southwest of Wales. Get yourselves over here, you know. 15 pounds return, like I say, from Tenby, which is just over there. And you feel like you're in a different world, to be honest with you. Just so tranquil and peaceful. And um, even though I've come at one of the busiest times in the UK on the summer holidays, you can still get your, you can still take yourself away from the, the crowds. This is, you can see the beach is quite busy down there because that's where most people want to go. It's the easiest place to get to. But if you just go down the beach that way a little bit, you're on your own pretty much, you know? So, um, so there's a fair queue to go home, folks. Many people with the same idea. <laughs> oh dear. Here we are, back where the fun began. The tides come in. As you can see, you can't get over to um, St. Catherine's Island now. So, yeah, as you can see, the tides come in nicely there. <clears throat> So we'll go, we'll go for a little walk up there again in a bit and get a nice little view down up there. It's a really lively little place this, old Tembe Harbour. Got all these people on the beach. And you've got kids and adults throwing themselves off the, uh, the sea wall over there. All, all of the little sailing boats, you've got a nice little bar just down there. People socialising up on the front. Just a really, really nice vibe, you know. So folks, there we go. There we go. Nice little time had on the Tembe Harbour. A little bit of something on the lens. So we're just heading up back to the car park we parked up at now. And we'll get a nice little view of the harbour with the tide in for you guys as promised. And that will be the end of our adventure for today.
So let's just plod on up these stairs and we'll get that nice little view that I've been talking about from the beginning of the video. Something's going down. So I've seen a guy running before down here and he set some kind of siren off. So something is definitely going down. So there's a lifeboat just gone out there. Someone's in a bit of danger by the looks of it. Anyways, I hope they're all right. So here we are, back to where we were before. But the sun's gone in now, folks. The sun's gone in. So you can't get the actual turquoise effect. But anyways, you can see it down there. It looks way nicer when the tide's in now. Beautiful. And there you've got the North Beach, which is the way we're headed. Our car's parked that way. So there we go. And just as we were leaving, the sun pops its little face out. So this is the view from the North. Uh, beach which is exactly where the car park is we've parked just beyond yonder there some steps just down here which takes you straight down onto the north beach here anyways folks that's the end of the video i hope you've enjoyed that caldy island and a little bit of tembi obviously tembi has its own town center but which we didn't touch but um who knows next time eh but there we go until next time folks take care of yourselves and have some fun peace